In the beginning of the network layer, we said a network is an interconnection of devices for the purpose of sharing resources. Every device on a network, based on its location, could be on a private network or a public network. We shall understand both network types in this presentation. Hello guys, we'll talk about private and public networks. Keep two things in mind. A place, for example, is said to be private when only certain individuals can have free access to it. These places include a home, personal office, or a small shop. A public place, on the other hand, is where everyone has access to with little or no restrictions. Places such as a restaurant, coffee shop, airport, and a football stadium are public places in real life. For a computer network host, a private network is characterized by user access restrictions. In some private networks, devices are allowed to communicate with one another and to initiate a connection to devices outside the private network. However, very strict security policies are applied to connections initiated from the outside. Private networks are, but not restricted to, home networks, cyber cafe, data centers, and office networks. All private networks here are independent and isolated from one another. A simple file transfer process between hosts in house A guarantees file security since it is completely isolated from the other networks. Hence, private networks are designed to be secure. In this company's private network, Restrictions may be placed as to which files users in the first floor can access on the server in the last floor. Furthermore, restrictions may also be placed to govern communication between devices on different floors as well. What are public networks? A network designed to allow anyone, specifically hosts, or the general public to access it and as well connect to other networks via it is called a public network. Let's assume all devices on these private networks can freely access network B. Then, network B is a public network. In TCP IP, the term public network generally refers to the internet because the internet is the largest public network that exists. The internet consists of multiple technologies to allow devices distributed across regions of the world to interconnect and share information. Moving on, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you'll be the first to know when we release a new video like this one. Hosts on a private network are assigned private IP addresses. This includes all IP addresses that begin with 192.168. Another possible private IP address range is obtained by changing this into a 7 and popping 8. This value extends up to dot .31. Finally, IP addresses beginning with 10 indicate private network hosts. These addresses cannot be seen on the internet because the internet is a public network domain. Lastly, we'll talk briefly about a VPN also called a virtual private network. Virtual means it's not real, but it looks like it, and we know what a private network is. A VPN is a technology that allows the extension of a private network over a public network to another private network. For example, a computer or smartphone with a VPN software installed is called a VPN client. A connection is then initiated to a VPN server in a remote location. By doing this, a tunnel is set up between the VPN client and the VPN server. If we visualize this tunnel as a pipe connecting both client and server, it now looks as if the client is on the same private network as the server, but it isn't physically there. This is the concept of a VPN. When a device with an active VPN connection attempts to access the internet, the packets are first routed through the tunnel to the VPN server and then rerouted to the internet. This is the end of today's presentation. 
please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on that bell for active notifications. Thank you for watching.